Hey everyone, Jay here from JAISU YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about LLM SEO and how to rank in LLMs in 2026. So let's get started. Because we have to rank in LLMs because LLMs are the new search engines in 2026. So step number one to rank in LLM SEO is to change your robots.txt file to allow everything. Don't disallow anything because Nowadays, a lot of websites, even Cloudflare is blocking lots of robots and in those robots, the LLM robots are also present. So I suggest you to allow all the robots in your robots.txt to read your files and read any uh, links on your website. So step number 1.1 is to set up a LLMs.txt file. So LLMs.txt uh, is basically a proposal to standardize on using LLMs.txt file to provide information to LLMs so that they can use a website and its references you know, over time. Even Claude has its uh, LLMs.txt. So you can, if Claude is using it, then I think you should also use it. And if you want to create LLMs.txt file for free, we at redarket.ai, we have a free LLMs.txt generator wherein you can just go, let's say I'll just create one for zoho.com. You enter the whole website like zoho.com and it will fetch the whole uh, the website, its headings and everything and it will create a LLMs.txt file for you for free and you can also edit your information as per your uh, as per your likings and you can change the information, change the description, change the categories like services, integrations, contact information and you can add as many links as you want and to feed the AI about the important links and information about your website. Okay, once that is done, the next step is to use a HTML based website because the LLMs basically love the websites that are HTML based and they read such kind of websites very easily and it becomes difficult for the LLMs to read websites that are based on React or Laravel or PHP or any kind of other language. HTML becomes very easy for them. So you have to make sure that your homepage or your important services pages are in HTML. Okay, let's move on. So next next step is step number three. That is a fast website. Your website should be fast. It should be fast and very fast so that it, the LLMs can read your website in real time. Okay. And if you want to test the speed of your website, you can just go to PageSpeed Insights by Google, which is free. Enter your website and you can, you know, test your website speed. Step number four is to build topical authority. You can follow Corey's topical authority approach, which helps you, you know, branch your content into different sets. Like this is your topical map. So there is a content that is a source of content. There is a core section which talks about your core services. There is a central entity. There is a certain search entity and stuff like that. So you have to search about Corey's topical authority approach and make sure your content is branched throughout your website. For example, if you write about cars, then you should cover cars pricing, their colors, their engines, models, reviews in every other segments and every other, uh, you know, situations in terms of your blogs. And if you want to read, you know, learn and get an example of how nicely one should do their interlinkings, you should see how Zapier does it. On the footer of Zapier, you can see that they have, uh, they have bifurcated all their pages in terms of numbers and alphabets. So if you want an example for that, you can just visit zapier.com and you can learn from them. So next is competitor research. So if you want to rank in LLMs like ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot, Perplexity, so you should do what you should do is like go into ChatGPT and just search for your main keyword. And for example, best CRM software, note which websites are getting mentioned and then analyze their content styles and structures. And then easily you can just replicate, you know, what if, if your competitor is ranking, you can easily just replicate them and rank well. And if you don't have time, if let's say you have a big website, you have hundreds of prompts to track. So what you can do is you can use redarkit.ai and just sign up and add your project and then go to the prompt section and you can add all your prompts, whatever you want to track and Redarkit will do it for you. It will run all the prompts through all the LLMs, LLMs every day so that to make sure and to, you know, give you the response that your website was found in the LLMs or not. For example, how to create and manage it, uh, how to create and manage online forms for lead generation. For this prompt, Zoho was mentioned in Gemini. And then you can see the position, you can see the sentiment. If you want to see the whole real time, what was the response of Gemini, you can see that as well. So what Redarket does is, is it goes to the LLMs and prompts in real time for all your prompts and gives you the information in real time and as it is so that you can analyze and you know, uh, take action based on that. 
for this like uh, let's say for 28th october for this this prompt affordable hr hr management software for small businesses uh, zoho was prompted uh, and perplexity actually mentioned it multiple times so you can go and check your prompts in real time using radar kit step number 6 is press releases publish press releases to stay visible in the news you can use the free ones or also you can use the paid ones like i use ab newswire which is like dollar 80 for a single press uh, distribution you can get a link from ap news benzinga global mail and the globe the globe and mail bar chart and 350 other websites as well so i think it's steel deal and i always purchase this distribution uh, which is good and then step 7 is to track your citation and get links from the sites who got who get cited for your prompts for example you can just you know you can do it manually using chat gpt or perplexity or gemini but you can if you have a lots of prompts you can use radar kit citation tracker you can go to for, for example i'll just uh, you know come here and you can see that this website has been mentioned 38 times for this keyword then slack is mentioned you can go to the opportunities tab and it will only mention the websites who are not a competitor of your website we have the ai model we analyze your competitors your website to make sure and to show you that okay these websites are not competitors and they can be an opportunity for you to go and grab a link from there so that you can increase your chances of getting cited okay so that is it i guess this is it and this if you follow all these steps you will for sure rank in llms very easily the major thing is to get mentioned by authority websites which are actually being cited already by the llms thank you for watching see you in the next one